In this video, I'm going to show you how you can install WordPress in Infinity Free. This is assuming that you've already created your account. So once you've made your account, you will then be probably on home. You need to head over to the accounts section. And from here, you can create your account and create a new website. Now that's providing that you haven't used up all of your active accounts already. On the free plan, that is going to be free active accounts. So click create account and then choose the free plan create now and you can either add a subdomain or a custom domain i've made videos showing you how to do that for this video though we'll choose a subdomain so i've just chose knowledge base example one two three just so we can make sure it's definitely available now you can give this account a label if you want to you could just remove this and just have kind of like the domain you can then make sure you add an account password which i'm going to do right now i wouldn't leave the default one just create one yourself make sure you can definitely remember it then email consent choose i approve and then create your account now once you've done that it will then create your account with your username and from here you can go ahead and either click finish or open control panel it will open in a new tab anyway the control panel once it's open you can approve and i would just click finish on the other page as well and you can also access your control panel through here now they are setting your account up so just be patient with everything it could take a couple of minutes to a couple of hours but once you're inside your control panel and if you have any confusion you can get here from your website and then click control panel from here, you can go ahead and either build your site with a site builder. If you want to install WordPress though, scroll all the way down until you get to software. And here you want to install through this Softer Colors apps installer. Click on that, go ahead and proceed. I'm not sure why that said it was unsafe. It shouldn't do for you. But then you can go ahead and click on WordPress and install. And then you can install WordPress. So the default URL is going to be the installation path you can choose the version what is important though is make sure you set up your account username make sure you add an admin password here which i'm just going to write right now and the admin username and password will be used to log into wordpress so make sure you remember them click on install then click on install at the bottom of the page and then after a couple of minutes about five minutes you should have wordpress installed once it's installed your site will then be live and you can access it via your username forward slash WP admin. So if you go to your username, then forward slash WP dash admin, you'll then be able to log in to your WordPress website with the username and password. So that's how you can do it. I hope that quick video did help you out.